Ryan, do you want to get your thoughts on this idea of a red wave sweeping through both houses of Congress? What are the data points you're looking at that suggest that? And just as importantly, if that were to happen, what is that going to mean for the market? Yeah, so, uh, you know, poll similar to the CNBC poll that Steve just uh, described and analyzed. Uh, Harvard Harris put out a poll last week, people talking about their financial situation, um, very negative. Um, just the moves in the generic congressional ballots, both Real Clear Politics and 538, um, they may differ on where each party is right now, but they're in total agreement. The momentum is in the Republican direction. So, um, you know, we, we had the narrative over the summer that Democrats had a bounce. That, that was arrested um, probably right around Labor Day. You had the CPI reports in mid-September of last week. Uh, inflation remains high. People are pessimistic. And who they trust, uh, which party they trust, they are registering their, their views, at least in polling data, with Republicans. So I, I think there is just this, this growing body of data and evidence that a Republican wave is, is regaining strength after it subsided a little bit over the summer. When we talk about things like inflation and the state of the economy and, and how voters are viewing some of these aspects that hit directly into their pocketbooks. I mean, what is the key demographic that is going to decide these midterm elections? I, you know, I, I don't know if there's a key demographic. Um, you know, I, I think it's across the board. Maybe maybe a, a, a demographic problem um, challenge for Democrats is that younger voters um, that they rely on may be less engaged. Um, certainly seeing uh, some movement, depending on what part of the country, but some, some movement among Hispanic voters towards Republicans, especially in the South, um, uh, less so out West, but definitely uh, across the board. Um, and then how engaged are black voters, um, black men? Um, that, that may be enough to turn some really close races in a state like Georgia. So um, again, I, I think demographics um, across the board are tough for, for Democrats, but I would just point out those, those, a couple of examples of where they have acute problems. Brian, it's Dom. I, I wonder, as you kind of take a look from a strategy standpoint on, on what matters the most and what types of issues are going to swing states one way or the other, what exactly is going to be that pivotal issue or those pivotal sets of issues that are going to really kind of change the focus and the outcome of this election besides just what's happening with the economy and inflation? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it is gas prices. Um, you know, they, they did let up a little bit over the summer, but they have uh, resurged um, uh, or you know started to spike back up a little bit over the last couple of weeks. That's why you saw the the announcement from the administration uh, this week about uh, releases from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which I think is, you know, too little too late. Um, there are cultural and social issues at work, too. Um, crime is a big issue um, and is going to move voters in places uh, like Pennsylvania. Um, so it's, it's a combination um, of, of economic issues, of gas prices, but, you know, worries about crime as well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.